Alright what's going on everybody so the spring anime season is officially here and we've already gotten the premiere of several new fantasy shows. I initially wasn't looking forward to Trapped in a Dating Sim but yesterday I decided to give the premiere episode a shot. For those that don't know this show is an adaptation of a light novel series by Yomu Mishima. The show's premise is similar to another Isekai series, My Next Life as a Villainous, in which the protagonist gets reincarnated into the world of a dating sim game. I never watched that other show simply because it just didn't look appealing to me. On the other hand, Trapped in a Dating Sim is much more intriguing due to the unique setting of its game world that incorporates fantasy and sci-fi elements that would usually be out of place. The episode has a strange setup where the main character is playing a dating sim after being forced to by his sister. After begrudgingly playing the game for several days straight without eating or drinking properly, he finally completes it and decides to go to the store and get some food. Unfortunately, due to his lack of energy, he stumbles on some steps and ends up dying. He is then reborn into the world of the game as a background character named Leon Fowl Bartford. He is the son of a lord and his mistress and therefore isn't treated the same as his other siblings by his dad's wife. Leon initially doesn't have all of his memories so at first he doesn't recognize the world of the game. Once he does though he doesn't try to take advantage of his knowledge of the game. At least until later on when his father's wife Sora presents him with an arranged marriage proposal that let's just say won't end well for him. Leon just wants to live a peaceful life as a background character which is something I appreciate. I like that he wasn't written as someone who is overly ambitious and that his first course of action wasn't immediately to take advantage of the situation with his knowledge of the game. Now obviously he'll need to use this experience playing the game in order to survive this world. In fact we get a taste of him doing so in this episode when he goes out exploring on his father's skyship in search of treasure so that he can pay his way into the academy and hopefully find a marriage partner. This would also help him avoid the arranged marriage which once again won't end well for him. It was once Leon leaves the sky island where we're presented with more of the world's fantasy and sci-fi elements. As I mentioned before the world is unique especially for a dating sim game. This is a world that contains not only magic, monsters, and dungeons, but also robots and hover bikes. These elements will allow for some bigger action scenes later on I'm sure. There were a couple brief action scenes in this episode that were just okay, they weren't really worth talking about. The action and animation was serviceable, nothing really impressive visually. Studio NG, the studio responsible for last year's Full Dive and Detective is Already Dead, is animating this series. This at least looks slightly better than Full Dive in regards to its environments and backgrounds. One minor thing I noticed about one brief scene on the skyship where Leon shoots a fish monster called a carp queen is how abrupt the musical transition was. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Along with being an izakai, this show is also a comedy in which I thought that that aspect of the episode was decent. A lot of the main character's commentary as he was playing the game in the beginning was kind of funny. The comments he made about microtransactions, the game's ridiculous setting, and his utter distaste for the characters was all fairly amusing. I also chuckled at the scene where he saw the woman that he was arranged to be married to. This episode wasn't hilarious but it managed to get some small laughs out of me. It's an orthodox dating sim setting is this show's biggest selling point in my opinion and it would be a pleasant surprise if the story ends up being very compelling. At one point in the episode Leon goes up against a security robot guarding a ship that he's after. Some of the robot's dialogue seems to hint at a past war that took place against an older civilization of humans that couldn't use magic. This could be potentially interesting if the author expands on the world's history in an engaging way. Another aspect of this show's world that separates it from others in the genre is the fact that women have more dominance over men. This difference in power and the distinct personalities of the characters from the dating sim game should make for some enjoyable interactions as Leon navigates life at the academy in the upcoming episodes. Overall I thought the premiere of Trapped in a Dating Sim was fairly entertaining. This episode set up the world without relying heavily on exposition and was paced well. While it's not visually impressive and the brief action scenes aren't worth talking about, the humor often worked and its world is unique enough to be possibly interesting. If you watched the first episode of Trapped in a Dating Sim, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.